On Tuesday, March 15th, the who's who of Oakland County gathered at the M1 Concourse Event Center in Pontiac for the County Executive's State of the County Address. Prior to the start of the address, a reception was held for the county's 40 under 40 class of 2022. A list of 40 new members was revealed in February, selected from 125 applicants who represent a wide variety of fields. The good news is we have a lot of talented individuals, young individuals, young professionals in this county. But so it was a tough, it was a tough group to get down to 40. But um, uh, it's an amazing group of people, really diverse in terms of well their demographics, but also their experience. You know, everything from a circuit court judge to to, to activists to nonprofit leaders to <laughs> business leaders, small business owners. It's it's just a, a really inspiring group of people. Frankly, uh, it makes me encouraged for the future. I was pretty excited um, to hear there was uh, so many applicants, so many uh, neat people in the county under 40 that were were willing to put themselves out there and, and do the hard work that needs to be done and um, represent the, the county. And for as many candidates as there was, I was pretty excited to be uh, one of the top 40. When you found out you were being included among this group, what was your reaction? Uh, really, I was elated, to be quite honest, uh, but it also was a reminder that I'm swiftly reaching uh, a benchmark, uh, 40 years, and uh, looking to set new goals and new accomplishments and uh, help improve the fabric of the community that I reside. Among those who made the cut was Vernon Burden, who has been Lake Orion High School's assistant principal since 2018. Before that, he was a math teacher and coach in Southfield for 13 years. I was kind of excited. Um, I don't expect an award like this. I don't expect an acknowledgement because I just like what I'm doing. I'm just going to work every day. And it was nice to talk to Mark uh, from the board office. He sent me a text message congratulating me, and I didn't know before then. And it was great to like, oh, this kind of something special. It's something nice. But I still was taken back because around the room, there's so many great people. And I just am a guy that works, works with my passion and with kids. Also joining the class of 22 was LOHS graduate Ashley Ross, who sits on the Oxford Village Council and was recognized for her work with the Michigan Humanities Council. We are the um, funding, the statewide funding arm for the National Endowment for Humanities. So we are a granting agency. So the money comes from DC to the state and we help other local organizations as well as we do statewide programs ourselves throughout. Ashley was joined by Oxford DDA director Kelly Westbrook, who grew up in Oxford and graduated from Oxford High School. What was your reaction when you were told? Well, I did yell and scream at my computer in excitement, but no, it was um, it was huge. Um, back in 2012, it was actually the first year that they had their class. I had started my professional career and had been nominated and didn't really know much about it at that time, but always set this as a goal of mine to accomplish. And so this year, it was back in September, I believe it came, in, came up, and I just saw everything that Oxford and the DDA had done this past year, and I thought, you know what, this is a perfect opportunity where I really want to talk about our community and the things that we have accomplished. So it's, it's been really exciting, and I, I feel very honored. Also joining the 2022 class was Oxford's Kyle Hagen, who was a lieutenant with the Orion Township Fire Department, and Lake Orion resident Melissa Ford, trail manager for the Paint Creek Trailways Commission. Following the reception, County Executive Dave Coulter rolled up in a Chevy Bolt EUV produced at GM's Orion Assembly Plant. He began his address by praising GM's commitment to Oakland County and Orion Township. GM recently announced a $4 billion investment to build the Chevy Silverado EV and the electric GMC Sierra at Orion. It's expected that this investment is going to add more than 2,300 new jobs and retain another 1,000 jobs when the plant is fully up and running. Right? Yes. And so now Orion is now etched in GM history as part of its largest ever single investment. I mean, let that sink in. Right here in Oakland County. And it also places Michigan as the recognized hub of innovation in the US in the US for the EV development 
an EV manufacturer. And that distinction is truly priceless. So I had the honor of being in Lansing with Orient Township Supervisor Chris Barnett on the day of the announcement. It was truly a proud day for Michigan, for Oakland County, and the Orient plan. So let's give Chris and everyone who helped to create the development package to keep this investment here in the county a big round of applause. Chris, we appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. The theme of the county executive's presentation was always moving forward. And he told us he hoped to convey a sense of optimism following a very difficult two years. Yeah, I like to think that the message is optimistic. Uh, we have been through a tough two years, but where are we going? Where are we going in the future? And so I'm going to unveil what I call a roadmap for the future. It's a five-year strategic plan for Oakland County. How are we going to support our small businesses? How are we going to support people's health, including their mental health? How are we going to take care of the environment? those kinds of things um, and it's, it's a five-year plan and what I want your viewers to know is that I want you to hold us accountable because we're going to measure what we're doing and you can go to our website starting this evening ogov.com and we're going to put all the measures and data on the website so you can hold us accountable to the promises that I'm going to make tonight. You can view the state of the county address in its entirety on demand on YouTube. In Pontiac, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.